guys, welcome to Fishing Vibes. Since it's winter, I'm going to do some fly tying videos. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to highlight my go-to flies for each species of fish. I'm going to start with my go-to smallmouth bass fly. If I'm going river fishing for smallmouth bass, I'm going to throw this fly 9 times out of 10. It has the perfect profile, it has tons of movement, smallmouth bass love it. Usually I use this olive color, it represents a goby or a darter or other bottom dwelling bait fish that smallmouth love. I also throw this orange color when I know they're feeding on crawfish. Both colors work great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the fish see with some underwater footage. Then I'm going to do the step by step on how to make it. Here's everything you'll need to make this fly. Two different colors of laser dub, some flashy chenille, size 6 3XL streamer hooks, some small lead eyes, two different colors of marabou, a grizzly streamer hackle, a small piece of rabbit strip, some wire, some thread. I'm using chartreuse, but you can use any dark color. For tools, all you need is scissors, a whip finisher, and a toothbrush. So I'll start the thread. Cut it. Now I'm going to put the eyes right up near the front of the hook. Helps it sink faster and gives it a nice action. Just a couple wraps on each side, then I wrap under. There we go. And then I'll go all the way back for the tail. Since the top is actually the bottom of the fly right now, I'm going to start with the lighter color marabou, about the length from the eyes to the end of the hook. And I'll flip it, do the other color. forgot to add this at the beginning, but you might want to add a little flash material. I have a little crystal flash here. I just double the ends. Put a bit on each side. Turn that. That's the tail. This next part is one of the hardest parts and it's getting the rabbit strip on there. So we have a rabbit strip here and we're just going to want to poke through this bottom part, the skin. And the way I do this is I just leave it on the vise first and poke it through there. Some people like to make a hole in it before they do this, but I just do that. Then I take it off and 
sort of work it all the way down the hook until it's down by the thread. So put it back on the vise. And now you gotta secure it down there at the end. So first you want your thread down there at the end. And then it helps if you wet your fingers and you can sort of move the rabbit out of the way and then tie it down with a couple wraps right there so next is the wire it's really easy to forget the wire so I just put a little a little hook in the wire which helps hold it on better keep it from slipping tie that down we'll use that later to secure the hackle feather and the chenille I always just use my fingernails and pull a little bit of the chenille off so I have that little piece of string to tie it down with So now I can wrap this forward. To right about behind the eyes. tie it down, snip it. Now I'm going to tie in the hackle feather. I always snip off the first few bits so I have an area to tie it down with. I'll tie it down right behind the eyes and just palmer it all the way back. And take the wire, and that'll catch the end of the hackle feather and hold it down. And just palmer that back up through the hackle feather and try to avoid trapping the hackles. Then we'll tie that down. There's a couple trapped here, it's no big deal. We'll just sweep them back in a minute. Cut it off. Like I said, we can just take these, pull them all back. There's that. Don't forget to trim this. So now you can take your rabbit strip, pull it nice and tight down over the top of the whole thing. Tie it down right behind the eyes. Trim it. And it's going to be a little bit lumpy up there. Not much you can do about that. The laser dub should cover it up. I'm going to start with the top color. Grab just a little clump, just sort of throw it on there, it doesn't really matter too much. One or two wraps, flip it, we'll do the other color. Then I kind of sweep that back. Then I'll do a little bit, a clump of each color on top of the eyes.
sweep it back. Now I try to fit one more clump between the eye and the eye of the hook, which doesn't always work, but I think I've got room here. So it looks pretty rough right now, obviously, but we're gonna trim that down and sweep it back with the toothbrush and it should look a lot better. So now I can whip finish that. And that's your finished fly. Clearly it looks very rough right now. What you can do is you take the toothbrush and you just brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it. You can't brush it too much. It just blends all the elements of the fly together. It's easier to do this off the vise, but you can do it on the vise too. And you'll see everything start to blend together. If you've got too much laser dub, that's fine. You can just trim a little bit. Got a little too much on the bottom there. Trim it. And just keep brushing. The more you brush it, the better it'll look. There it is. The finished fly.